check out what I've got going on today. This is my next project. I always have way too many projects on the go. I know I've talked about it before, but I have such bad pressure out the back. Just terrible. Like I have to have three banks of sprinklers to just water 250 square meters. It's just terrible. Bought this 90 liters per minute pump and I'm gonna use an old rainwater tank that's out the back. I'm gonna pump directly from that tank uh, using this, one bank out the back with this pump. I should be able to do that. And then I thought, well, why wouldn't I just go all out? Um, the soil here is pretty bad, as I said. So, so I got one of these, Easy Flow One, I think it is, first irrigation unit. I'll, I'm really keen, really happy to, to use this. I'm going to pump soil amendments and soil wetters into the, into the ground. Oh, how sick does that look? <laughs> I'm so keen to use that. So. Cut to montage of eight hours of work broken down quickly. <laughs> Cheers. the um, basic frame made. So I'm gonna have to level it because the concrete it's all over the place here but now all I need to do is uh, get some old pallets or something cover it in and then I'm gonna get a plywood uh, backing here to put all my irrigation into. Yeah it's come up alright. Found a couple of hinges um, for this door Seems to be relatively smooth. I'll need to put a little catch over here. But yeah, that's the idea. So the local ag shop had a heap of pallets that I could scab for free, which was awesome. So I got about six of them. And I just have to take them apart, which I hate doing, but free wood. <laughs> Alrighty, that's the stash of wood. I don't quite think it's going to be enough. It's four pallets, so I've got another four or five out there, so I think I'll just rip them down as I need them. But yeah, come up alright. I worked out a way of getting through the pallets a bit easier, so yeah, a bit of hard yakker. I just cut all the nails off, and uh, yeah, won't be long and I'll have this done. looks pretty good. The good thing about pallets is you can be pretty rough with them so obviously it's not <laughs> not the greatest build but it, it goes together all right so the plan will be I can lift this off 
if I need to lift that off if I need to access down into the pump. Open this up. I'll put um, plywood on the back here so I can mount all my valves and the, the Wi-Fi controller will be here. And then all of the, um, the pump and the fertigation thing will be down in here. I'll be able to access it and fill it up. So yeah. All right, so this is gonna be the final resting place for the cabinet. The tank is over there. So I'm gonna have to run a inch poly line all the way uh, out of that tank, wrap around the um, wrap around the bottom of the house there, and then it's gonna go in here somewhere. So basically that's where the pump's gonna sit. We'll have the pump in here. It'll be getting fed water in here, coming out from here, up into all the solenoids. So now I'm gonna be gluing these pipes together, cutting them to size. Um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> theory that's gonna work <laughs> so the water is gonna come in here from the tank into the pump through the master control valve up through a one-way valve like a check valve to prevent backflow in here to this valve which is for the fertigation system so the water pressure will force um, water into this unit and this cap will control the outflow of fertilizer which will be drip fed which will get drip fed into the line here so then we're going to go up here into a flow meter and that's obviously connected to the um, that that the flow meter is obviously connected up to the irrigation controller then we go up here into the bank of solenoids one two three four that I'm using for now and five as a spare um, this is a threaded cap you can take this off and add more this hunter unit can do up to 12 stations with a master valve so yeah like i said in theory this will work for now this is all going to stay messy if it works i'm going to neaten it up a few knobs and controls and things on these solenoids i don't know what they do so i'm hoping when i when I pressurize the system, the water doesn't just fly out of here at 90 liters per minute. Let's, um, we'll see what happens. Now I have to run the pipes from here uh, into the, like around to the existing things that are in the ground. Is that currently, that currently gets fed off of that tap through here. Down in this corner here, if I dig down, I'll be able to connect 
the bank from this side to the bank from this side. The bank that is down, the bank that's down there, I'll be able to literally just double, like just join these two pipes here and that'll connect them. So there's a little bit of digging to do, run some pipes and then fingers crossed it works because otherwise back to the drawing board. Cheers. I'm finished with that one single run, just this one here. So we'll run five minutes, oops, 605, five minutes on, pumps running, sprinklers running. Sprinklers are running. And they're all working. <laughs> they're not leaking. And that pump has enough pressure to run all of these, so I'm so happy. <laughs> Just relieved, I think, because I've never done anything like this before. So, um, yeah, just a learning curve, particularly with that irrigation cabinet. Um, yeah. But I'm happy with that. I need to run some more lines for the front lawn and the drippers and all that sort of stuff. But man, I'm happy that, I'm really happy that that's done and that it works and it's successful. Um, if anything, I think I actually need to go and turn some of these down now because this one in the middle here is reaching all the way out. Normally that only just grabs the edge. So, so good. Oh man, I'm pumped. That is so good. Yes! <laughs> Alright, so you're looking at version 2.0. I had an issue with the pump where I uh, blew the mechanical seal between the motor and the pump. So it started to leak water. My understanding of pumps was wrong. I thought that if I bought, say, this one is a 90 litres per minute pump. I thought that if I was using 45 litres per minute to do the sprinklers, that, it, that the pump would just adjust through the through the controller that's in there, would adjust and um, put the right amount of water in. Like, you know, the motor would work harder if it needed more water and would work less if it needed less. It turns out I was wrong and that pumps just work at 100% capacity unless you buy specific, you know, specific pumps that are designed for that. But just a standard water pump when you turn it on, it's going to work at 100% capacity. Obviously, what I'm doing out in the yard here is just I'm just fumbling my way through, trying different things, trying different things, exploring, seeing what works for me. And yeah, you know, you're going to make mistakes, and um, don't be discouraged by that. Don't get me wrong. There was a few times where I was pretty frustrated with that pump setup because I like to try and do things right, and I just got it wrong and I had to learn from that so no big drama. So yeah one of the next things that's going to be happening with this lawn is I'll be scarifying it and I'll be mowing it low and then top dressing it. I think it's ready, it's waking up, today's 35 degrees, it's the first warm day for a while. If you're from Australia, we follow along in any Australian forums or Facebook groups, you might recognise this, it's a Model 46 scarifier. Yeah, you might recognize that. They're pretty hard to find. Um, and if you do find one, pretty much whatever they're asking for, you kind of just got to pay it because someone else is going to snap it up pretty quick. So I was lucky enough to find one of them. So I snapped it up. Um, I paid a thousand bucks for it. And I've already had it out to people's houses, scarifying their lawns, the parents' lawn, my parents' lawn. As soon as people know you've got one, they want to use it because it's absolutely awesome and you'll see what it does to this lawn it just shreds it and pulls a heap of thatch out so 
yeah, that's coming up next. So stick around. Um, it's been it's it's everything's coming along really nicely here. I'm really excited for the next um, like for this season. So get out there, get stuck into it, have fun, enjoy it, and yeah, just do your best. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>